A rangefinder with GPS capabilities and shot tracking does sound too good to be true, but if I've told you Shotscope have made one at a very affordable price, you might be a bit surprised. Let's find out how good it really is. The Shotscope Pro LX Plus is a new release by Shotscope for 2022. And I've got my hands on it today. It's an extremely smart product because it's got two things in it. It's got a rangefinder and it's also got a little GPS device that attaches to it. These are the Shotscope Pro LX, the rangefinder and the Shotscope H4. You can purchase both of these separately, but here with a very affordable price of about £330 online, you're getting the GPS device, the rangefinder, and the shot tracking capabilities. If you are new to Shotscope, I'll talk about everything, the shot tracking, the actual aesthetics of both devices, and why I think for £330, when you're comparing it to other models, the stuff that you actually get with all this, pretty decent. So the Shotscope Pro LX I've got here, you can just see in this lovely little pouch, and then, the H4 I've got just here as well, which you then attach to it and it becomes the Pro LX Plus. You don't have to attach it the whole time, but they give you that option. So far, when I've been using it over the last two weeks, I've been attaching it to my little belt buckle. They give you a little option to do that and it's very easy to do and it doesn't actually feel too heavy. I know some people who are watching this video don't like using watches because you can feel it on your wrist. Trust me, you cannot feel the H4 at all on your belt buckle. But how does the Pro LX feel in your hands in comparison to other rangefinders? I usually use the Bushnell Tor V5 and in comparison it's a little bit lighter, perhaps feels a little bit cheaper than that model, but in terms of the actual structure, I'm a really big fan of what Shotscope have done to the little, little thumb grip, the little indentation there. It feels very easy, albeit it being quite light, to just grip it and zoom at the target. Got up to 900 yards capability of range finding, I don't know if that's the word. It's got seven times zoom, it's got two modes, golf and actual rangefinder itself. It's got red or black when you want to actually look in the lens. I, out of all things, actually think the red, the optics when you go in, is the best display I've seen across a rangefinder. I do struggle sometimes because of uh, these little things here to use a rangefinder. I've got awful eyesight, but the red colour skin that you look inside is extremely clear to look at, so it makes it easy for people like me. You can see I've still got the H4 just on my belt buckle. I'll explain why I have that in a second and why I do think it's really important to have it there rather than anywhere else. For performance wise, in terms of how quick I'm zapping everything I want to, I mean, there's two features here if we're talking about the Pro LX Plus, but just the Pro LX here, I would put it at about the middle of the pack when I'm comparing it to other rangefinders. The bushel is a bit quicker. It's quicker than the motor caddy. It's quicker than the zoom. But because it has such positive optics with that red color scheme, it doesn't feel as, as troublesome to actually use. I'm not struggling to see what yard it's giving me. 182 yards, eight iron. Oh my God, that may be the best shot I've ever hit. I think the range variant itself is a decent competitor to the likes of Bushnell, Zoom, Motor Caddy, things like that. But when you add this little thing here, the H4, the pivotal part of this whole product, it makes it something that I will be using as an accessory because it provides you with tons of features that a rangefinder beforehand cannot. Perhaps this is the most advanced rangefinder you can now get on the market. This little thing here provides you with not just front, middle and back, which you may think is a bit unnecessary, but it provides you with layup yardages, penalty shots, shot tracking, and also strokes gained data. If you haven't seen any of our videos about the Shotscope V3, this watch via the Shotscope app provides you with strokes gained, statistics that you can improve your game by. You can look at it round after round and you improve yourself by the data it gives you. It gives you, like on the PJ Tour, strokes gained putting off the Tea. It does it because you have these little tags that you put in the butt of your clubs. This little thing, by pressing it to the butt of the club, knows when you're hitting the ball. The difference with this and the V3 is the V3 is more automatic, whereas with the little H4 here, you put it against the butt of your club and then it buzzes and you know it's ready. I do much prefer the buzzing feature to the V3 because sometimes the V3 did not know I was actually swinging a golf club or it registered it twice if you were taking a few practice swings. And I'll show you exactly how to use it now. Let's play a par five and a par four, see if I can make a few birdies and show you how I'm using it. Right, so we've got about a 480 yard par five here, pretty straightforward. But this is where the H4 actually can be used other than the rangefinder. You think on a tee of a par five, you're not really gonna use a rangefinder, but it's here I can find out how far it will be to a layup, how far it will be to a hazard. And that's what I can do right now. Rather than actually getting the rangefinder out, I can take this, have a look at it, say it's about 480 yards or so. See if I hit it 300 yards, I'll have about 200 yards left. What I then do to activate the driver feature on here is I'll get the little button of the club with the tracking tab and I will push it towards it there. It will then buzz as I can feel it right there and then it will be set on the driver feature where it will say D on the little H4 dashboard. 
I hit that so badly. <laughs> So this is a situation now where you would switch to the range finder to get that yardage. So let's say I've got about 230 or so yards. I can confirm that with that and it's saying 228. What I will do, I'll just get my bush now out and see the difference. And this is saying 229 yards. So a one yard difference there. And I know both of these are accurate by using them the last few weeks. Oh, I've just pushed it. I just pushed it. It's okay, it's probably on the next tee actually, but it was such a nice strike. It was the right club, but now I'm in some trees. And same as every other club, I've also, it's every single club you do, you get it, butter the club. It's not like a broken record because I've said it a few times, but trust me, you will forget it. I've forgotten it every single time you do it and then you go up to the ball. So this stops the V3 problem that I had of, if you're sweet practice swinging with it, sometimes it can register as a swing. This, I can swing 500 times. I can hit 500 balls until you change over to another one. That's the difference. If you hit it twice, you will buzz it twice at a different location and GPS will pick it up. Oh, I've blasted that so far past, I think. Oh, it wasn't actually that bad. Just, I think I pulled that about. <laughs> 15 foot left of it. The putter is actually slightly different to all other tracking tags. That's because when you get onto the green, the H4 will recognize this. And rather than having you tap it down, it already knows that you're here. So what it can do, it says on this little thing here, pin collect. And that means you can say if you've one putted, two putted or three putted. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm putting on a fairway, <laughs> but Still a nice easy part to start on a very easy hole. What I will then do now is I can then press here one part, two part or three parts. And hopefully we don't do this, but if you do do more than three parts, there is a feature to press right and it will give you more than that. But we're gonna press two here and move on to the next hole. All right, so last hole of this little video here. There was actually a hole before this that was a par three that I didn't want to include in. I stuck it to four foot, but then I missed the part. So I guess it was, it was a good thing. 330 yards, we've got wind off the left and there's a lot, a lot of bunkers for this tee shot. So this is where this comes in handy and it is a bit quicker than using a rangefinder to find out how far it is. So I will have a look here and just see where the danger is. You can see we've got bunkers at about 220 and 210 yards. If I lay out to about 185, I will have 150 yards. I'm gonna try and be aggressive and go over the bunkers with the four iron and see if it works out for me. I mean, if it's over, it's, it's great. So it didn't pay off because I didn't get past it. I didn't realize I should have looked at the further features and the further hazards they were. I was looking at edge forward, the bunker back there, there's one further forward. So despite my four iron going 230 yards, it's crept into the rough. Actually best case scenario because that camera there is in a bunker right now. Ah, oh, wind's got it. Wind, awful shot, awful shot. Oh, I think it's just stayed up on the rough, in the rough. One thing that will happen with the H4 and with the shot tracking, it takes a while to get used to. I'll, I'll tell you right now, on that previous shot, I did not do that. I did not push it against the H4, which means that when I go to do the shot tracking on the app or the website, I'll have to add it in. So it's not a completely broken feature there whereby if you don't do it, your round's completely ruined. It just means it will take a little bit more time to make sure all those stats are correct once you finalize it on the app or website. That's a great shot. Oof. We'll take a tasty little up and down there to finish off these two holes. Good stuff. The ShotScope Pro LX Plus, as you can see, we're big fans here at Golf Magic, and that's because it provides something that rangefinders can't before. Rangefinders year on year, they're not really that different from each other. They might be a bit quicker, a bit faster, a bit nicer to hold, but this rangefinder actually has all the specifications of a premium rangefinder, plus that of a GPS device. A rangefinder can improve your game, but that's by getting different yardages. This now can improve your game by having the shot tracking feature that you haven't seen in any other rangefinder before. This product certainly won't be for everyone, because I know some people aren't necessarily that interested in that shot tracking feature, in putting all the things in the butt of your club and seeing your data round after round. It certainly is something that takes a while to actually get used to, but if you are committed to using it every single round, the data that you'll get year on year will show you where you're going wrong. Guys, let me know what you think of this brand new ShotScope Pro LX Plus rangefinder. You can see there's so many features and I urge you guys to go try it out. If you have any questions about this new product, let me know. If you are new to Golf Magic, guys, smash that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of our videos. We've got some really exciting ones coming over the next few months. Tons of stuff coming out that I can't tell you about, so stay tuned. I'm gonna go practice my putting, guys, so I'll see you at the next video.